Alright, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? I haven't made a tutorial for about a week, so I figured I'd make a tutorial on an emulator for PS3's running CEX or DEX based custom firmware in the 4.XX uh, version firmware. So that's 4.40, 4.41, and 4.46 custom firmwares. Uh, this is the uh, Virtual Boy Advance emulator. This basically is an emulator for Game Boy Advance ROMs that you can download wherever you see fit. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to install this today. So first thing I'm going to have you do is download this file right here, the IV0002-VBAM90000-00-0001. Uh, so, uh, after you download that file, plug in your USB drive, your USB stick, your flash drive, whatever you want to call it, plug that in and get this shit out of here so we don't have to worry about that in the video and uh, open up the files and view your folders and um, what you're gonna do is basically just take this file that I have you download and copy that to the USB drive so what I'm gonna do is just take this and drag and drop that over and copy that now I've already got the same pi uh, file over there uh, so I'm not gonna copy it over um, so I'm just gonna leave it like that but I will show you down here, right here, IV002-VBAM90000 underscore 00-sample 0000000001. And that's the package file. And now what you're going to do if you have any ROMs, create a ROM folder on your USB stick and uh, open up that folder. And this is where you're going to place your ROMs. And you're going to be using the GBA or it's .gba rom files so that's what you're going to be using so once you do that finish up there and uh, now it's time to go to the PS3 I'll show you how to install this real quick I'll be installing this on 4.46 Habib's uh, version 2.05 custom firmware CEX base uh, again this will work with DEX based consoles uh, which is the demo custom firmware for developers and uh, that's that so I'll see you guys in a minute and we'll be at the PS3 alrighty so here we are at the PS3 and simply all you're going to do after you plug a USB stick into your PS3 you're going to scroll down to install package files if you're running rebug when you click X on it your shit won't come up uh, you just select standard folder and it will come up and uh, you're going to look for the virtual boy advance which is the file right here the VBAM uh, file and you're going to hit X to install that and I've already installed that on my PS3 so I'm not going to install it but just for the sake of showing where it is to be installed it's right there and I already have it in my emulators folder so you should see this right here the virtual boy uh, next for PS3 what you're gonna do after this is before you start up the game there's a demo ROM in there but if you want to put your own ROMs in there you're gonna have to go in through multi-man and do it manually so I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick open up your multi-man and uh, simply I'm just gonna show you how to do this really quickly and uh, we'll go from there so what you're gonna need to do is boot up your multi-man, allow it to load and everything, and you're gonna go and open up the multi-man MOS. So once you open up the MMOS, come over here to the left and scroll to File Manager MMOS and click X on that. What you're gonna do is simply just double click on the PS3 root with the X key and in this folder here you're gonna see the dev USB triple zero. Open that up and go to your ROMs folder and what you're gonna look for is the Game Boy Advance ROMs, the .gba. So hit X on what ones you want to copy over and simply all you're going to do is hit circle on the blue and hit copy. What you're going to do now is open up another PS3 root, scroll this over here and you're going to go to dev hdd0. What you're going to do after that is go to game folder and scroll down, Oop, scroll down until you see, what the fuck, game, scroll down until you see the VBAM9. 90,000 folder. So keep scrolling. Do, do, do. There it is. VBAM 90,000. Double click on that and open it up. Go to user directory and go to ROMs. And inside there you will see this is where the ROMs are kept. So what you're going to do now is hit circle and you're just going to paste the ROMs there. Select yes. And you should see those ROMs pop up in that folder. Now what you can do is you can exit Multiman. So we're going to come over here, double click on games and you will go back to the multi-man screen. 
Once you do that, you can either A, if you have Stealth Man, you can boot the emulator right here, connect it to PSN, and you don't have to worry about Sony picking it up, so that's what I'm going to do right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and boot the Virtual Boy Advance. Alright, so once the Virtual Boy Advance is uh, booted, go to Select and your Settings screen, and what you can do up top is you can... Hello? If it fucking lets me... Hit the R1 button to move over, and you can change the path. Start start up ROM directory. Go there, and you're going to select Dev HDD0. Select that. Go down, and you're going to select the game. If you hit the R1 button, you can skip in the pages to make it faster. Select the VBAM90000 folder. Select the user directory, and then select ROMs, and that's it. Now, once you do that, you're just going to hit Triangle, and you're going to hit Triangle again and then after that hit circle and you go back 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 and that's about it so then after that um l2 and r2 to resume the game or if it lets me then just reboot your emulator i guess it's not gonna so i'm just gonna quit the game real quick yes Allow that to reboot. Alright. Alright. So coming back here now. Now once the game reboots, you're going to scroll down to uh, wherever you have your emulator installed and boot it up. Simple as that. Pretty easy, right? After you boot that up, allow it to load, and it should load the default path. Come on, there we go. And then just select your ROMs folder here, ROMs, and then scroll down to whatever you want. The ROMs are now on your hard drive, so I'm just going to select this ROM here, and voila, there you go, Game Boy Advance on your PS3. So if you hit uh, circle is A, and X is B, obviously. The D-pad is your direction, and the uh, R1 and L1 buttons are the L and R bumpers on the Game Boy Advance. So those are the controls. And uh, if you hit circle, you can see single player. And here we go. And this is from Game Boy Advance. Click English. There you go. And save files are compatible. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys. Enjoy your little Game Boy Advance emulator. Again, the link will be in the download and description below. Uh, and as well as probably a ROM link uh, for all that fun shit. So uh, take it easy, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, Software Reborn. Check out my website, software-reborn.com, where you will also find this file for download and a description on how to install and many, many, many other things. And that's pretty much it. Check out my blog, uh, Electronics and Software, and the Google Plus forms. And also follow me on Twitter, at DeathRain333, which will soon be at Software Reborn. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. So take it easy, guys. Enjoy, and I will talk to you later, as soon as possible, or however you like it. And enjoy. Yet